All right, good morning. Good morning. It is, what is uh, it? It's Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> the 15th, maybe? I think so. Not sure about that. So we came in, oh, monorail. Uh, if I can get it. Shakalaka. <laughs> so we got on the monorail and came into Epcot this morning. After, in a hurry. Yeah, because at 7 a.m. we got up and um, we made a uh, boarding pass for the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. And it said it wasn't gonna be ready till like 11, 10 or something, but we got the notification that it was like time to go at like nine. <laughs> we were like, oh shoot. And I was still stretched out. <laughs> so we went in the overdrive. And yeah. I literally, I had to stop and do some things and I literally got to the gate at our time and they said, don't worry about it. Yeah. Just come back whenever. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure they actually have the time. Yeah. Limit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it was like you had, I think it gave you like an hour, but they, they let us in. So that was cool. We went on that ride again. It was oh, amazing. Oh, it's the best ride. It's my favorite ride now. Yeah. Probably my favorite too. It's just the, everything is just goes towards freedom and feeling like they're floating. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Not floating, but. Just, yeah, it's just like going through the atmosphere in the, in the, in space. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it's fun. So um, it's a, almost 11 o'clock, which means that the food and wine festival booths will open up. And so we're gonna go try some food now. French fries. I think we're gonna go see the fry basket, see if they're open. Start off. Start off. The good stuff. French fry. Yeah. All right, let's, so go. let's go. So test track is right behind us. Ooh. And fry basket is right as you end, exit. It's out to the left. Grab one of these tables? Sure. I oh, didn't want to get pictures. Yeah. Oh, the kids will love that. All right. So, what we're going to get here is this fry flight. You can go get in line if you want. We want salty dog tacos. Oh, here. yeah. Yeah, definitely. This is yummy. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll carry the drink. You carry the drink? Yeah. I'll get the whole drink. Okay. Okay, we have our uh, fry flight here. And it includes some sea salt and malt vinegar fries, which are the ones on the left here. And then in the middle is the barbecued bacon fries with smoked aioli. And then on the right hand side is the sweet potato casserole fries with candy, pecans, mm. toasted marshmallow cream, and caramel whiskey. Mm -hmm. I can't you know. see. <laughs> what you hear over there is test track going. And then Dan over has the, um, what is this? Where did it go? Oh, the salty dog cocktail. Is it good? It's really good. That includes a Boyd and Blair vodka with grapefruit juice, ginger, simple syrup, and lime with a salted rim. Yeah, the ginger and the, um, what was it, mango? What was the juice? Grapefruit. Uh, grapefruit, yeah. A good match, they got a good mix. Cool. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try the fries and we'll let you know what we think. The drink is really good. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> we've been trying these french fries. Pretty good, yeah. So these are like a malted, salted? Yeah. Sea salt and malt vinegar. Yeah. Good mix. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then the, um, the, uh, what is this one? Barbecued bacon fries. They're smoky, kind of a nice smoky flavor like barbecue chips. Yeah, it tastes like barbecue chips. A lot of flavor. Yeah. Tons of flavor. Let me get some of the bacon on. And then the sweet potato ones are like a dessert. Mm -hmm. They got like these candied walnuts or something on there. Yeah. And they're very like sweet sweet potato. Sweet potato. Look at them. Most people, some people, people I grow with make sweet potato right? casserole yeah. on the sweet side. It's yummy and the drink's really good. It's like a really spicy gingery flavor, which I like. And you can still get a little bit of that grapefruit flavor. Yeah. It's good. So good start to our food and wine festival yeah. day today. Great start, half ahead. <laughs> okay, 
We just got done with our fry basket. And we're gonna get in the single rider line for test track. It's right here. The single riders line is a line that you can get into with your party, but you will be separated. So if you don't mind being separated from the rest of your party, you can get in the single riders line, which a lot of times is gonna be quicker than the other lines. Driving technology activated. We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and service conditions. Monitoring road surface. <laughs> Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off-road and extreme weather skewing. Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Which one's yours? Uh, yeah. The other one? Yeah, the blue one. Scanning the car for optimal fuel efficiency. We are at Brew Wing at the Odyssey, which is this building is called the Odyssey. Yeah. What is it? The building is? The Odyssey. The nice seating area in here. And nice AC. 
So we got the beer flight, which has these three different beers. I'm gonna guess that this one on the left is the Ivanhoe Mark Brewing Company Pineapple Vibes Blonde Ale. The middle one is the Three Daughters Brewing Watermelon Wheat Ale. And then this one here, a Central 28 Beer Company Groveland Road Blood Orange IPA. So we got two different kinds of wings here. Um, this one here is the gar garlic parmesan wings with celery and we got ranch. And then the other ones are the dry rubbed jerk spiced wings with papaya chili sauce. We'll give these a try and we'll let you know what we think. Okay, we just got done at Brew Wing, which is inside the Odyssey here. All right, so we finished up our wings here at Brew Wing. Me, half a head, and Haida. <laughs> Stop, I got y'all in there. Uh, it was really good. I've been What's really good? impressed with all the food. We yeah. had a dry rub with a sweet chili sauce. Yeah. On one. It was, it was a little spicy. Yeah, a little spicy. And Another then, one. yeah, garlic parmesan had like a creamy kind of a sauce on it. Yeah, it tasted really good. Yeah. Perfect. I grabbed ranch to dip them in and we honestly didn't, it didn't need it at all. It was, That's amazing because you're a I huge, love gigantic. Sauce. It's still going on because you set up the room and gigantic. everything and then yeah, so um, yeah, that was really good. We got a beer flight. The beers were me. I thought the IPA was good. Yeah, the blood orange IPA was. was I would drink good. that normally. Yeah, yeah. It was good. But the we, pineapple blonde. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if they can substitute, but that is not good. <laughs> and then it was the uh, it was a watermelon wheat ale. You know, and that was novel. It's okay. It's okay. So, but we are uh, IPA folk from the Northwest, yeah. so that's our jam. And we just got through uh, fresh hop season, so yeah. we're all yeah hopping up. <laughs> so we're gonna walk over towards Spaceship Earth and see how long the wait is, and mm. potentially do that. Mm. All right, so let's go see. See you later. Yeah, twenty-minute wait for Spaceship Earth, which is inside. Inside the ball. Is it all parks inside? No. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. That was not a long wait at all. Probably was only more like 10 minutes. What's happening this in my eye? Alright, this is a slow moving journey to the past that explores how the future was invented one step at a time. <laughs> Well, that was an interesting little situation. So almost at the very front of the line, and uh, they heard a weird sound or something, so they stopped loading. And they got to a point where they let the doors close by itself. And one of the doors made a noise. Yeah. And the lady's like, it's kind of weird. Yeah. And at that point, the guy's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> so here we go on Spaceship Earth. It brings with it the dawn of great civilization. At this point, each civilization has its own form of writing, which none of the others can understand. But the physicians who trade with the world Thank <laughs> you. 
the opposite. Work or work. In the future, the city will be a great place to work. <laughs> the office buildings will be media rich environments, outfit with global networking and the latest digital tools to turn your dreams into reality. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere, no problem. Just pack up and go. <laughs> That's all you want. Awesome. You'll be able to keep working on a commuter train that runs on magnetic force. Since you do your best thinking along, you can bring your virtual tools with you and work while you commute, thanks to a personal digital assistant that carries all your files. The board meetings could be such a blast. Good shit. Time to relax. But if you live to work, you can keep an eye on your projects with video streaming digital display to bring you messages to them. This just in, looks like it's going to be a great big beautiful tomorrow. Oh, I'll be on the future. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> All right. Let's go. It's a good ride. It's like it was really crisp. Really crisp. They redid the lighting and everything. It's just really sharp. Point. Yeah. It's a nice relaxing ride. I didn't want to get up out of the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> seat. <laughs> Bye, Epcot. We were just up in inside that ball. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, oh my 
Ouais, pas de tes on va en Back though, right? Yeah. We're gonna head back to the resort and chillax for a couple of hours before we head back out. Where are we heading? We're gonna go. Wait. Yeah.